Auroras Auroras are beautiful displays of light in the sky that appear mostly at the poles. Auroras that appear at the North Pole are called Aurora Borealis. Auroras that appear at the South Pole are called Aurora Australis. Auroras are created when charged particles or plasma from solar flares bombards our planet's magnetic field. Some of the particles make it through the magnetic field on the other side and are directed back to the planet by the magnetic field. When the plasma meets the nitrogen and oxygen in the thermosphere, it either excites the atoms or ionizes them. The atoms emit a photon when they return to ground state. They also emit a photon when they regain an electron after ionization. Auroras can come in five different colors, green, blue, purple, red, and brownish red. If oxygen is ionized, it emits green and brownish red, while nitrogen emits blue, purple, and red. But the colors that auroras can create don't just depend on what atoms the plasma excites or ionizes. It also depends on where the excitation and emission happens because there are different concentrations of atoms in different parts of the atmosphere. Planets other than Earth have auroras too. Jupiter and Saturn also have auroras, but their auroras are a little different in color because of different gases in their atmospheres. Jupiter's atmosphere is made of hydrogen, helium, methane, ammonia, hydrogen sulfide, oxygen, nitrogen, noble gases, and water. Uranus and Neptune can also have auroras. The cause is the same for auroras on all planets, but the colors might be a bit different. All a planet has to have to be able to have an aurora is a star near it, a magnetosphere, and an atmosphere. Auroras are mostly seen at the north and south poles, but they can be seen a bit farther from there if there is a big solar flare. The ancient people saw auroras too. The Norse especially saw a lot of auroras. The ancient Norse thought that the Aurora Borealis was Valkyries' armor shining as they headed off to war. The Inuits thought that the Aurora Borealis was the spirit of animals dancing in the sky. The Athabascan cultures believed that the Aurora Borealis was a message from their dead. None of those cultures could have suspected that the Aurora had to do with plasma and magnetic fields and ionization. The aurora has had a long history with mankind. In 1861, scientists at the Kew Observatory observed an aurora with a magnetograph, all the while communicating by radio using the aurora's own power. Benjamin Franklin thought that auroras were caused by a high concentration of electrons in the polar regions. After the Battle of Fredericksburg in December 11th through 15th, 1862, the Aurora Borealis was seen in Virginia and the Confederate Army took that as a good sign. Thank you for watching this documentary. Check out Science at NASA for more cool stuff about astrology and don't forget to subscribe for more cool videos.